Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid-deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlanta's 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station.